every single aspect of our life is influenced by chemistry, even parts that we don't really understand. My name is Gloria Proni and I'm an associate professor at John Jay College. My research field is in chemistry applied to forensic science. We are trying to develop a new fingerprint detection reagents. Fingerprints are the mark left by our hands, in particular the tip of our fingers. Some of the fingerprints, they can be detected in a very non-destructive way. Putting some black powder, which is also magnetic, and it gets attracted to the fingerprint. And as you can see, we quickly get a, a fingerprint in the filter paper. Latent fingerprints are fingerprints that you cannot see. So you know that they are there, but you cannot see them. So you need to find a way of developing and making the visual for everybody. Nidrin is used to detect the latent fingerprints. Nidrin works very well. It gives a very sharp color, purple color. Protein are a sequence of amino acids. The molecule of the amino acid reacts on one of the oxygen of the nanhydrin molecule, and the reaction that is happening is called Strecker degradation. So they absorb in the region that gives us a purple color. Unfortunately, nanhydrin is very complicated to get fluorescence out. You need to incubate the molecule with the fingerprint for a long time. We were looking for a reagent to give an alternative to nanhydrin because these are creating problems with the de-inking of the document, so the writing portion comes off. We came across the molecule of lozon, which is a plant, and is the compound that is giving the brown color in henna tattoos. The chemical reaction between lozon and amino acid and nanhydrin and amino acid is very, very similar. And right away, you can see that in the lozon, you start to see some indication of a fingerprint in there. When there is some latent fingerprint that needs to be detected and needs to be visualized, we are hoping that in the future, people in the field are going to use lozon instead, or derivative of lozon, instead of using nanhydrin. In every science, we try to have a result that can be reproduced. When the results are not being able to be reproduced, then we have a problem in the way that we cannot really call it science. So that's what I like about this experiment, is the fact that I can see how people can use it. So I think a chemistry that is addressing problems that are everyday problems are really important.